Yeah. yeah. Well, both the people using introverted feeling and extroverted thinking, you you should be very grateful that there's extroverted feeling people out there that will just endlessly try to help you <laughs> and meet you where you're at. I know. Yeah. I know we're challenging. We yeah. yeah. I get I, it. I, I would say the people who've helped me the most either were TP or FP types. Mm. Um, the TP because they're really coming with, they're able to introduce a model or ask a question that like changes my way of thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, that is such a good question or mm-hmm. that is such a smart principle or model. Mm-hmm. And with the FP types, they're just like very patient mm-hmm. and they speak very quietly. Yeah. Um, it's it, But I can think of one, an INFJ uh, teacher that I had. I mean, as an adult, taking a class as an adult, very high functioning, really, really like wise, mature. And that's like, and I reckon knowing type, I was like, this is somebody to learn from Mm -hmm. and to put myself one down Mm -hmm. and just be like, you know what, this is really tough. I don't feel good about this, but at some level I know that she's right. And I just got to figure it out. Mm. And the same, I'm in a writing group over the years. There's an INFJ is actually another INFJ. She will just bluntly give feedback sometimes every single time she's right. Mm -hmm. I just go and I think about it. And now I've I've accelerated to just like within five minutes as I'm listening, just accept, like really take it in and try it on. Mm -hmm. Really try it on. And I'm like, wow. And so that I think she's using, she's using a lot of TI in that moment. And and so I I think some way to, to reach the TE types is when the TI person or person using TI can be really succinct and just get the heart of what it is because TJ is like a little bit ad hoc hmm. and like I'm using this model over here and this one over here and that one over there and they're not really consistent to be frank. It's like I'm using metric and I'm using imperial units and is like if somebody can bring it together and just be like really succinct about it. Hmm. So it, it's either FI or TI hmm. I think is a way to reach the TE folks. To come back to principles. Mm. As you were talking about, you felt this person, this INFJ, you felt like I could go underneath them and learn from them. Yes. It was a very positional statement. Yes. Like there's somebody listening right now that doesn't share TJ preferences. It's yeah, like, yes. why would you even think of it hierarchically like that? That's so weird to think of like the position. And mm. But there's probably unspoken as a principle level when we communicate with others, there's an unspoken rules of engagement, like a hierarchy structure we're coming in with, mm-hmm. a relation, like... Void of all the content, whether it's demonstrative content or articulated content, there's other things that we're not mostly factoring in. Like, mm-hmm. how's this person going to respond if I approach them in a, a dominant frame versus more of a, a supplicant frame, right? I come in underneath them versus I come over them. Like, all that stuff matters mm-hmm. when we talk to other types. Right, right. And we're not even talking about that, right? That's all the soft science of it. But that matters too. Like, how people expect us to engage with them, which we don't have time to unpack. But yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and, you reminded me of that. Right. And, and I don't necessarily mean that I'm only thinking of hierarchy. There also is this element of like, if I actually want to be a student and learn in this class, I, I need to actually take the role of a student. Yeah. Like, just to be very frank. Like, and either I'm serious about it or I'm not. Yeah. And, and I say it in those stark terms because if I'm always hedging my bet, mm-hmm. then am I really going to learn every time there's something that comes up that like offends my ego or is like too difficult or whatever it is. And the irony is, is, and we've talked about this before. I mean, it's, um, I don't know, somebody somewhere, it was about, you know what, it's resisting that makes it more difficult. Mm. The oh, yeah. moment I stop resisting, oh, yeah. then it becomes easier. Now, I don't want to do that in a way that's dangerous to me, but if I have respect, and this is something I've learned from types like ESTP and ESTJ, if if I have respect for this person and they have respect for me as a student or whatever, then it's actually very safe to be that one down position. Yeah. that That's fine. Yeah. But there needs to be that element of respect. And, and I need to know that they're authentic. They don't even need to have 100% right information or something because that's obviously who, if I'm in the student, like how am I supposed to evaluate that? Mm. But there needs to be some level of respect that's there. And that's, um, and you know, that, that comes in with different things. I yeah. Mean, yeah, different provers in a way. In NLP, it's like, what, what is the, the prover? Yeah. 